Hello all. Today in this video we are going to see an interesting topic that is the 18 electron rule. Okay. In the previous video we have seen hepticity. So if you know the concept hepticity then you easily you can uh, follow this topic. Okay. 18 electron rule. Generally if a complex or compound obeys 18 electron rule then that particular complex or compound will be stable complex. Okay. Why is it so? Because see in main block elements that is S and P block. Okay. S and P block. Whenever it obeys octet rule that is 8 electron or 18 electron it will be stable right because ns2 np6 is the configuration for noble gases. Whenever uh, the configuration is like this it will be stable because it is inert right it is inert noble gas configuration. Similarly here 18 electron rule is applicable to d block elements okay because see here n minus 1 d ns2 np6 is the electronic configuration for d block right d block this is for snp block and this is for d block here it is 18 electron right 10 plus 2 12 plus 6 it is 18 here in this case it is 8 so whenever snp block has the this configuration that is 8 valence electron it will be stable similarly whenever the d block element has this configuration 18 electron then it will be stable okay this is what is known as 18 electron rule. So whenever a complex has 18 electron or it obeys 18 electron rule, then that particular compound will be stable one. Okay. So first of all, how to calculate this 18 electron rule? It is very simple, right? So we have some examples and after solving these examples, we will try to solve the previous air questions. Okay. See in the very first case, nickel tetracarbonyl is there. What is the valence electron of nickel? It is 10, 3d8, 4s2, right? 3d8, 4s2 configuration. So 10 electrons. One carbonyl can donate two electrons, right? One carbonyl can donate two electrons. Here in this case, four carbonyls are there. So 4 into 2 it is 8, right? So it is 18 electrons. Hence, this complex obeys 18 electron rule. Hence, this nickel tetracarbonyl complex will be stable one. Okay, it will be stable. See, if you want to calculate 18 electron rule, what you have to do, it is a uh, valence electron of metal okay valence electron of metal plus uh, the number of electrons donated by the ligand okay electrons donated by the ligand this is how you can calculate the 18 electron okay 18 electron rule see in this case i told you that valence electron of metal plus electron donated by the ligand what is the valence electron of ion here it is 8 right 3d6 4s2 configuration so it will be 8 okay 8 5 carbonyl. Each carbonyl can donate 2 electrons. 5 carbonyl means 10 electrons. Hence, here also it is 18. Hence, this complex is also stable because it obeys 18 electron rule. Okay. Similarly, see this metal carbonyl. Uh, in this case, manganese will have 7 valence electron. D5, 4s2. So, it is 7 valence electron plus 10, right? It will be 17. It doesn't obey 18 electron rule. Hence, it is not stable okay it is not stable chromium will have six valence electron and cp one cp ligand can donate five electrons here two cp ligands are there hence it is 10 so it will be 16 this is not stable okay it is not stable now rhenium will have seven valence electron and uh, eta power five means it is five right then here it is four so four 4 plus 7 it is 11, 11 plus 5 it is 16. This is also not stable because it doesn't obey 18 electron rule. It is having only 16 electrons. Now in this case chromium 6 and eta 6, it, 6 is C6H6. Six, it is nothing but our benzene. C6H6 is nothing but our benzene. Benzene can donate 6 electrons. Okay. And uh, twice they have given. So 6 into 2 it is 12. So it will be. 18 it obeys 18 electron rule hence this is stable one okay it is stable one and suppose you are having nickel eta 5 cp and no okay no i told you in the previous video itself no can donate three electrons in linear structure or it can donate one electron whenever it is in bent structure right so in this case it is 10 for nickel and 5 for cp 
how will you decide that uh, it will donate either three electrons or one electron very simple generally if they haven't mentioned it is uh, bent or linear and all you just how to satisfy 18 electron rule okay our ultimate goal is you have to get 18 electrons so that the complex will be stable right hence 10 plus 5 15 15 plus x is 18 so x will be 3 right 3 so if the nitrosyl that donates 3 electrons then it will be linear okay then it will be linear right this is how you have to uh, find out the 18 electron whether the nitrosyl is linear or bent these questions have been asked in CSIR okay so if it obeys 18 electron rule in order to obey 18 electron rule how much electron it has to donate it has to donate 3 electrons in this case hence it is linear suppose you are having nickel and uh, eta 5 cp and a carbonyl is present and NO is present okay NO is present in this case see the nickel will have 10 electron and eta 5 cp means it is 5 electron right it is 5 electron and CO will donate 2 electron plus x okay plus x because we don't know nitrosyl will donate either 3 uh, it is donating either 3 or uh, 1 okay so in this case uh, totally you have to get 18 electron right so 10 plus 5 it is 15 plus 2 17 plus 1 right if you if the nitrosyl donate 1 electron then it will obey 18 electron rule hence this nitrosyl will be bent okay it will be bent structure it will donate only 1 electron okay this is how you have to solve the question so now let us solve the previous year questions of CSIR and gate okay okay see here this is the first question the complex that doesn't obey 18 electron rule okay so eta 5 c5 5, h5 5. 5 means it will donate 5 electrons right next ruthenium ruthenium comes under ion family hence it will have valence electron of 8 okay next chlorine will have one electron it will donate one electron then carbonyl co will donate two electrons and similarly triphenyl pospin also will donate uh, two electrons okay so totally 5 plus 8 13 plus 1 14 16 18 so it obeys 18 electron rule the question is the complex that doesn't obey 18 electron rule okay hence this is not the option now see this is tungsten lanthanum hafnium tantalum tungsten tungsten will have six valence electron okay next carbonyl three carbonyls are there so it will donate six electrons now SIME3 see SIME3 silicon comes under carbon family right carbon will have a valency of 4 right carbon valency is 4 hence it can form a bond hence it has 3 methyl groups in it and the remaining is 1 right hence the electron contribution is 1 okay now ncme twice okay ncme twice see in this case ncme this is a structure right ncme now carbon has a valency of four nitrogen will have lone pair of electrons right hence two electrons it will donate its lone pair of electrons hence one ncme can donate two electrons here ncme twice okay therefore four electrons chlorine will donate one electron so six plus six it is 12 plus 1 13 14 17 it is also 18 right it is also 18 hence this is not the option okay this is not the option now see the c option iridium comes in the cobalt family hence it will have valence electron of nine then chlorine will have three uh, pph3 can donate two electrons but two pph3 hence it is four electron okay four electron minus means you have to add plus one then as ph twice so as ph arsenic comes under nitrogen family nitrogen can form three bonds so far it formed only two bonds right hence one electron it can form a bond hence it can donate one electron therefore nine plus three twelve plus 4 it is 16 17 18 this is also 18 this is also not the right option okay obviously this will be the option let us check see osmium will donate 8 electron osmium has a valence electron of 8 
and nitrogen nitrogen can form three bonds right so it can donate three electrons and bromine two electrons pme3 it can also donate two electrons nme2 n me so it can donate only one electron right one electron plus one so 8 plus 3 it is 11 plus 2 13 15 16 17 okay 17 electrons hence the option d doesn't obey the 18 electron rule okay the remaining options and all it obeys the 18 electron rule okay this is how you have to find out hence uh, the option is d now the second question in the molecule this is the molecule okay this is the molecule it follows 18 electron rule they have given that it obeys 18 electron rule the two metals satisfying the conditions see in this case this is very easy carbonyl five carbonyls are there right five carbonyls each carbonyl can donate two electrons hence this is 10 electrons okay now plus metal is there plus actually it obeys 18 electron rule plus double bond means you can split like this okay actually double bond can donate two electrons okay two electrons now it is simple so x plus 12 will give you 18 electrons x is equal to 6 right x is equal to 6 hence the metal should have the valence electron of 6 so in these options which will have 6 valence electron see in the first option chromium obviously chromium d5 4 is one configuration right 3d5 4 is one configuration hence it will have six valence electron okay rhenium what about rhenium rhenium has d5 n minus 1d5 and ns2 configuration okay ns2 configuration actually it should have seven electron okay seven electrons but here it has been given as plus so minus one it will be six right hence this is the correct option chromium also has six electron rhenium plus also will have six electrons so if it has six electrons substitute here you will get 18 electron because in the question itself they have given that it obeys 18 electron rule right hence this is the option see these and all lanthanum half sorry deuterium zirconium niobium molybdenum so molybdenum will have six valence electron but what will be in vanadium case scandium titanium vanadium it will have only five so this is not the option similarly here also it is a five but in this case it is six this is not the option in case of chromium it is six and vanadium it will be five so this is not the option these two will have six valence electron okay hence this is the right option now see the this question the compound that obeys 18 electron rule is this question is very simple see manganese will have seven valence electron and you're having five carbonyls which means 10 7 plus 10 is 17 so this is not option next in this case iron will have valence electron of eight and four carbonyl so each carbonyl can donate two electrons and four carbonyl can donate eight electrons so it will be 16 right hence this is not the option then here you will have 5 and 12 so this is not the option because it will have only 17 electrons now in this case chromium will have 6 electron and 6 carbonyl 6 carbonyl can donate 12 electrons right 6 plus 12 it will be 18 hence this is the correct option okay this question is very simple and it has been asked in gate okay now the complex which obeys 18 electron similarly this is also a very simple question uh, see the FeCO4 we have already seen it will have 16 electrons and here in this case nickel 10 electron right because D8 4s2 configuration so it will have 10 electrons now in the carbonyl can donate 6 electron and neutral ligon right PPH3 can donate 2 electrons so it is 18 hence this is the option similarly See in this case chromium will have 6 and 5 carbonyl so 10 right 16 this is not the one and here also 6 plus cyclopentadienyl ligon can donate 5 electrons right here uh, 2 times so it is 10 this is also wrong hence option b is the correct one okay now the next question is 
Among the complexes, they have given you four complexes C six H six twice chromium H M N C O five and C H three C O R S C O I three minus and C P F E C O two C H three. Okay. Uh, among the complexes, among the four complexes, eighteen electron rule is not followed in. Okay. The question is not followed in. You have to read the question carefully. Okay. So in this case, chromium will have valence electron of six. C six H six. It is nothing but our benzene, right? Benzene. Each benzene can donate six electron. It is twice, so twelve. It is eighteen, so it obeys eighteen electron rule. Okay, hence this will not be the option. Next, in this case, hydrogen can donate one electron. Manganese will have seven valence electron, and five carbonyl can donate ten electrons. Hence, it will be eighteen. So this is not the option because the question is which is not followed. Okay, not followed. Eighteen electron rule is not followed in the complex. These two follows eighteen electron rule. Hence, these are not options. Okay. Now, see in this case, C H three C O. It can donate one electron. And rhodium comes under cobalt family. Hence, it will have nine valence electron. Then carbonyl can donate one electron. Iodine three iodine out there. Okay, three. Now minus one means plus one, right? Nine plus one ten. Twelve, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, sixteen. It doesn't follow eighteen electron rule. Okay, it doesn't follow eighteen electron rule. So in the next case, cyclopentadienyl five, iron eight, and carbonyl two carbonyl. So four, and it is one. So thirteen plus four, seventeen one. It is also obeying eighteen electron rule. Hence, which is the right option? Three, right? Three only doesn't obey eighteen electron rule. Hence, this is the correct option. Okay. See how simple is. Sure, it is very simple concept. Eighteen electron rule and hepticity. The neutral complex which follows eighteen electron rule. See here, eta five Cp. Cp means five electron. Eta itself they have given that five. So plus eight it is thirteen. Plus four it is seventeen. Right? Hence this is not the option. Eta five Cp. So it is a uh, five. Then. Molybdenum will have six valence electron. This is also six, seventeen, right? This is also not the right option. So in this case, it is eta five Cp twice, which means ten electron, right? Then cobalt will have nine. So this is not the option because uh, here and all you have got the answer is seventeen electron. Here in this case, it is nineteen electron. Now in this case, rhenium will have seven valence electron, and eta five means five. And here it is eta six, so six seven plus five twelve plus six. It is eighteen electron. Hence, this is the right option. Okay, this is the correct answer. So we have solved all the previous year questions from the eighteen electron rule concept. Okay, I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you find this video helpful, then kindly subscribe and share with your friends. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching.